I have this piece of cherry right here, and I'm going to trace the plug around it a little bit. And try to round it off on my sander. And then see how it goes. And I'm going to try to taper it in and play with the plug. It's just a little too much to take off with the hardwood, so I'm gonna cut it with this coping saw. The roundabout angles. It's only I tried making a plug to just try to seat it in there. I'm actually not all that impressed with the way how it's going. So I'm coming up with a different idea. So I got it going in there a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I made this one bigger. I traced it. I'm going to cut into it about maybe that far all the way around. And then I'm going to try to knock this off. So it'll inlet in there and be square to the bottom. I'm actually going to cut those lines down first. Get them in the ballpark. didn't take all that much.
file it. So after working it with the files, I ended up working it with the belt sander. I got it on there pretty good. It's a little off center, a little more off center than I wanted it to be. But I'm going to kind of dome this thing out and then put a staple on the end. And I'm going to try to cover that hole from the previous hole from the manufacturer of this originally. So I think it's going to be in the ballpark. It, fits reasonable to me. I'm going to try rounding it off with this plane a little bit. And the end grain. I'm going to use a file, I think. Let's see how it goes, so... I want it really rounded. Shot. Cherry's been sitting in my shop for 10 years. I rounded off the plug a little more and I'm going to do some more work to it with fine sandpaper and stuff to get the burn marks out of it and stuff. I hope you really like the video and stay tuned for the final finishing.